All right, hey everyone. This is Mike. I'm going to call this one done. It's not the best work uh, electronically that I've done. <laughs> well, none of my electronic work really comes out that great. I have had some problems. You can see that. I had to repair that S right there when I should have left it alone. I touched it one more time, and you can see it along here too as well. Uh, the red kind of broke up a little bit, bled a little bit onto the rest of the uh, the substrat. I still have some work to do right on these little areas here. I've got to flatten out this little wrinkle right here, but I have to be very careful with it because, I mean, you can see where the red has run to the edge of the substrat right here where, it, where I cut it. Most of the electronics work. I hooked up the switches, hooked everything up. I lost a little of the intensity of the, the brightness. Let's see some light leak. I'm going to have to pop this one off and open it up a little bit on top so I can get that flush in there. But this is... I'm essentially going to call this one complete. It is, uh, I mean, there are some flaws in it, some flaws that I can live with. Um, as you can see here, one of my lights is blinking, the other one, not so much. I think I lost contact in, in the, the tube that I had housed for the, uh, the blinking LED. Same thing down here, I lost a little of the intensity right down in those. You can see my lights on this side kind of came out all right. Over here, whoa, excuse me. I lost, I didn't line up that LED properly right there, and you can kind of tell. But those are the, I'm just going to say if anyone asks, those people are sleeping. Uh, everything else is essentially working the way I wanted it to. Um, I'm trying not to get myself in that mirror. I'm in the bathroom right now because this is the darkest room right now. But I have a button set up right here. I also have three switches that work all the power. But this one here in particular is my little pew, pew, pew aspect. Check this out. Pew, 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 pew. It doesn't work as fast as I would like it. It's a little sluggish, so you can't really get the effect of shooting like again that's just me pushing the button down and a lot of wiggle on this base but I'm not gonna worry about that much again I'm gonna go ahead and call this one done you can see it's NCC78245 this blinking light never did blink even though it's in the housing it just you know I, I don't know what's up with that one so this is the USS Impervious. Completed. It's as good as it's going to get for me. I still have a few more details. I want to eliminate this light leak right here. There's also some more right along right there. I'll get to that later. I need to fill, excuse me, where am I? I need to fill this in right here and get some uh, nice reflective red in there. Same with the others, the same, the opposite side. But, as I said, this is probably as good as it's going to get for me as far as electronics go. Need to work a little more on uh, my decal work, as you can tell right there. But, um, again, this is a, another experimental build. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about the lights completely. Uh, you know, I'll end up having to find some professional help one of these days to to get it going. But uh, that is it for now. This is the final update on the impervious. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all can forgive me for the flaws, but I'm not going to really shout them out. So, <clears throat> I'll try to get this side over here. Uh, NCC78245 USS Impervious. So, signing out. Talk to you guys later. Have fun. Take it easy.